know that adverbs describe a verb, an adjective or another adverb. They give more meaning and information to a sentence. The village had only one school. Ram studied there. Now here the word there modifies the verb studied. So it is an adverb. Now this adverb shows where the action happened. So this is an adverb of place. Now we can join both these sentences and write a single sentence as The village had only one school where Ram studied. Now in this sentence, the word where modifies the verb studied. So where is an adverb. Now notice carefully in this new sentence, the adverb where replaces the adverb of place there and this adverb where joins the two clauses. What are the two clauses here? The village had only one school where Ram studied. So it is relating both the clauses. Hence this adverb is known as the relative adverb. And this relative adverb also refers to a place where the action happened. The village had only one school where Ram studied. So in this sentence, the village had only one school where Ram studied. We have two clauses. What are the clauses? The village had only one school, which is the main clause, and where Ram studied. Now this clause where Ram studied is the relative clause. Now this relative clause has been joined to the main clause with the help of the relative adverb where. Now this relative adverb we have seen refers to a place and which place is it referring to? School. So we can say that the relative clause here refers to the noun school which is a place. So what are relative adverbs? Adverbs that modify verbs and connect two clauses or ideas are known as relative adverbs. Now relative adverbs join the main clause and the relative clause and that relative clause refers to the noun or the pronoun. When, where, why are some of the words which are used as relative adverbs. Now let us read the two sentences given here. This is the school where Ram studied. This is where Ram studied. Now in the first sentence, this is the school where Ram studied. Where is the relative adverb which refers to a place. In the second sentence also, this is where Ram studied. Where is a relative adverb which refers to a place? In the first sentence, this is the school where Ram studied. Where Ram studied is the relative clause. In the second sentence, this is where Ram studied. Where Ram studied is the relative clause. But in the first sentence, this is the school where Ram studied, the relative clause where Ram studied refers to the noun. What is the noun? The school. So in the first sentence, the school to which the relative clause is referring is the antecedent. But in the second sentence, this is where Ram studied. The relative clause where Ram studied refers to a place. But that place is not specifically mentioned. Hence, in this sentence, the antecedent is not mentioned. So what do we see? That in both the sentences here, we have used the relative adverb where. So in both the sentences, it refers to a place. But in the first sentence, the relative clause refers to a place which is mentioned, which is that the school. Now that is known as an 
antecedent. In the second sentence, the relative clause refers to a place, but it is not explicitly mentioned in the sentence. Hence, this sentence does not have an antecedent mentioned. Do you know where the meeting will be held? So in this sentence, where is the relative adverb which refers to a place and we see that that place is not explicitly mentioned, hence the antecedent is not mentioned here. I still remember the day when my baby brother came home. So in this sentence, when is a relative adverb, it is joining the two clauses. I still remember the day when my baby brother came home. And this adverb, which is a relative adverb, refers to a time. And this time is the day. So the antecedent is mentioned in this example. But in this example, do you know when dad came home last night? The relative adverb when refers to a time, but that time is not specifically mentioned in the sentence. Hence, this sentence does not have an antecedent mentioned. I do not know the reason why he failed in the exams. Now, in this sentence, why is a relative adverb. It is joining the two clauses. I do not know the reason why he failed in the exams and this adverb or this relative adverb refers to a reason and the reason or the noun is mentioned in this case. So the antecedent is mentioned in this example. What about this example? Do you know why mom is upset with me? So in this example also, why is the relative adverb which is referring to a reason but is the reason mentioned here? No, the reason is not specifically mentioned here. So in this example, the antecedent is not mentioned. I have no idea how this machine works. So here, how is an adverb, which is a relative adverb because it is joining two clauses. I have no idea how this machine works. And this relative adverb refers to a manner. Let us read the two sentences given here. The photo was taken in the park which is beside our house. The photo was taken in the park where I played. Now in the first sentence, which joins two clauses. In the second sentence, where also joins two clauses. So both which and where acting as relative adverbs, let us see. Let us see the clauses which are joined to form these two sentences. So the photo was taken in the park which is beside our house has been formed by joining the two clauses. The photo was taken in the park, it is beside our house. The second sentence has been formed by joining the two clauses. The photo was taken in the park. I played there. So in the first sentence, which refers to the noun. It has been used in place of it. So it refers to the noun park. So it is a relative pronoun. But in this case, the photo was taken in the park where I played. Where? replaces the adverb of place there and here it is modifying the verb played hence where is a relative adverb. So now that we know what are relative adverbs let us do this exercise. Fill in the blank with the appropriate relative adverb. Do you know the reason dash so many people want to learn Spanish? Now we know that we are referring to the reason and which adverb refers to the reason here. Let us see. We know the relative adverb where refers to a place. We know the relative adverb when refers to a time. And we also know 
that the related adverb by refers to a reason. So the correct answer will be, do you know the reason why so many people want to learn Spanish? What about this sentence? This is the church dash my parents got married. So the related adverb choices given to us are why, where and when. We know that the relative adverb where refers to a place. Now in the sentence, this is the church dash my parents got married. The church refers to a place. Hence we will use the relative adverb of place which is where. So our sentence will be this is the church where my parents got married. What about this sentence? Billy showed me dash he wanted to go and play. Now here no choices have been given to us. So let us see which relative adverb is the correct relative adverb to use here. Billy showed me dash he wanted to go and play. So this blank here has to have a relative adverb which refers to a place because Billy showed me the place he wanted to go and play. So it will be Billy showed me where he wanted to go and play. So today we have learned about relative adverbs, how they join two clauses and refer to an antecedent. Now the antecedent may or may not be explicitly mentioned in a sentence. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.